good day everybody i'm here with another video and this one's going to be a big one so i would it's going to be a big two-parter so i would sit back and relax for this one today we are going to be counting down the uh top 10 thomas and friends um christmas episodes so please enjoy so number 10 I believe that this spot is painfully obvious, and it's going to be given to Hunt the Truck from Series 22. Now, as much as I don't like any Bubba episodes, I gotta say that this is at least a decent one. And even though there's no Christmas, even though there's a, there's a big Christmas theme in it because the fantasy sequence is terrible. But I'm going to give it a number 10 because it's just that bad. So, let's move on to number 9. Number 9, Duncan the Hung Bug. I will say, I gotta say, I love this episode really well for one big reason. It's because this episode is very relatable to me, and I gotta say that I can understand what Anne Duncan's um, terrible attitude. This episode really understood, I really, it really brought me out, and it really made me think and understand that, you know, Christmas is a big time to, you know, be with friends and family, and that you shouldn't really be mad at anyone for it. So, yeah, this is going to, so yeah, this is, um, um, this episode's really relatable to me. I love it, and that I gotta say that one of my favorite shots is this one right here. That look at that face. That is hysterical. Anyways, I give it a gold star. It's that good as an episode. I love it. Moving on to number eight. Number eight is going to be, um, is given the spot of Last Train for Christmas. Now, I don't love this episode because of fan service. I can get over that. But I love this episode because it's a great, um, it's just a great, it feels so much like a Polar Express and Thomas the Tank Engine, um, mashup, if you get my meaning. I love that. Because this episode even feels like an episode for, it feels like a bit of a mixed bag for, um, uh, from the Polar Express and Thomas, because it just feels so good. That's amazing, and I love it. So yeah, it's also an amazing one, and I really wish they would have done some sort of Polar Express. It's just, I just love one of the reasons. Also, excuse me. Another good reason why I love this episode is this climax. I'll show you the soundtrack. It's so good. The score is so amazing, and coming up here, you guys are gonna love it. Hero to the rescue! And now the line was clear for Connor's last train. Thank you! That was an amazing score. That guy's on Mike and Donald and Junior Campbell levels. And also there's a joke that I gotta point out. Please ignore the bad, crappy uh, thing. Who said that? Take, Take off if you want to be fast. Sounds like the slip coaches to me. You can uncouple the slip coaches on the move and let them roll into the stations so you won't have to stop. Such a funny joke. Moving on to number seven. This episode, number seven, goes to the perfect gift. Now, as silly as and very basic as some people may not like this episode because of, you know, it's a very silly and basic story they hammer into the ground in other kids' shows, I kind of forgive it because I love this episode in a way. Percy's in character. I love the development of Reg. And, you know, he's a good character. And it's a good episode. And I love how uh, the ending because it's a fun ending. Um, I don't have much to say about this other than, you know, it's a fun story. Everyone's in character. I love the music. I love the, the characters. I love the development. It's just fun. But I'll show you the ending just for fun. Percy, you've brought me exactly what I wanted. More lovely scrap. Yes, more lovely scrap. And most particularly, this is just what I need. You're 
Christmas tree looks fantastic. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, Reg, that is... And this shot is so amazing. All right, I don't have much more to say about this episode other than just it's great. So, oh, I will say there's a clip here that's free and it's fun for me. I love the... Didn't get you. No, not I love... I love the the whistling. Oh, and also they use the scrap model of Top of Hat's car. And it's also a good transition into this. So this next episode, this next episode on my list is titled um, "Thomas and His Christmas Party," which is actually a good classic series episode. Don't worry, we'll get back to more classic episodes soon. But I will say that this is one of my favorites because you know this is feels like climactic to me, and it feels like big, a big, you know, a big, you know episode movie in a way a mini movie i guess you could say because it's just so i love the characters i love the story i love the it's just so fun i gotta say this is just a good episode and the one thing i will say that it's very fun is that you know i love how i love in this episode how everything looks so pretty with all the white snow even though it's flower hour basically which i bet someone would have smelled it's sm um on set it's amazing this just looks so pretty and i love the shot here of everyone on the everyone in the sheds yes thomas isn't in yes toby is not with them but you know everyone from one to f f um one to f um six is there it's just so amazing i just love it it's a big money shot I, and also, who doesn't love a classic series episode? I know I do. It's better than all the bullcrap we've been given over the years. Alright, next episode.